Newly released from Vinegar Syndrome is The Severed Arm. I was really curious about this 1973 movie because it was described as a proto-slasher. You know, long before kind of slashers really came into prominence, this really does have a lot of the tropes of those kind of movies. And I was really kind of curious about it. We are thrown into this man who receives an arm in the post as you do and then we're kind of thrown back into this tale of these six men who are out in the kind of wilderness doing some kind of geological experiment it's never really explained why i don't think it really matters either and they're just wandering about looking to take samples from mines and they find a mine they go in there they're, they're kind of chipping away when all of a sudden there is a cave-in and they find themselves stranded in there with really limited supplies and probably nobody looking for them either and they kind of go a little bit insane they go a little bit hungry thirsty they're starting to struggle with, with uh, the norm of what they should do versus what their body is telling them they need to survive and they come up with this really strange plan where you know they don't want to kill somebody because well they don't want to be murderers but they're quite happy to chop off a limb and eat it if it makes that they're going to stay alive so they, they kind of force their hand of everybody some people want to take part some people don't they make straws they, they force everybody to pick one and they have a person who they're going to take their arm off. The guy begs them for a little bit of time, just just a little bit of time, just you know, give it one more day before you do anything. But you know, hunger is hunger, and they take that man's arm, and just literally, after they take it off, they hear this knocking of people breaking in to get them, and they decide to like come up with a cover story, say it was infected, they had to cut it off, uh, and it was delirious, saying that um, he thought they were going to eat it. To kind of cover their ranks. This guy disappears, we hear a story of him getting into a mental asylum eh, of which he has escaped and now these people are getting threatening phone calls, they're getting messages telling them that they're next and they are being stalked and slashed by a hatchet eh, wielding madman. It has all these tropes of slasher movies, it has the people being stalked, it has the phone calls, it has the, the messages taunting these people, we get a point of view killer um, as he runs up to his victims wielding the hatchet ready to cave it into somebody's skull or more likely try and take off an arm and it's just, it's, it's really interestingly set up, it's, it's so fun to see something that feels so much part of a subgenre that came a lot of time before it and although it's low budget and a little bit meandering in moments I was really kind of engaged with this one and it really kind of lured me into a, a sense of uh, security I kind of know what's involved with slasher movies and I was willing to go along with it but because it became first it does a few things that kind of shake things up a little bit and I really enjoyed that the, the way it kind of twists its ending around into something of more of a surprise than I was expecting as characters become something uh, else that I, I didn't fully realise at certain points and it's just really fun but it has really big inconsistencies as well like these guys that are out doing geological samples for something then go back to their real world but they all seem to have jobs that relate to nothing compared to what they were doing there. It just seems like a reason to get people there to then have them die later on. I loved some of the set pieces in the way they were set up, you know, where we see the killer's shoes hiding in a room, the lights go out, we see somebody like walking through an empty house, opening doors, doing the usual, hello, is anyone there? Before the axe comes into screen lobbing off a body part it, it's kind of fun in the way it's playful with those scenes as well and I, I I really kind of like this one more than I thought it was going to it becomes a little bit talky and a little bit staged throughout the middle but the, the beginning is really strong and the end is really strong and to be honest I was really happy with this one I definitely see where it was coming from being labelled as a proto slasher and I think it's one that should probably be mentioned whenever people are talking about the beginnings of slasher movies and how they came into fruition. 
I'd love to know your thoughts on the severed arm, whether you enjoyed it, whether you didn't. Why? Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.